Alright, I just got uh, dropped off at the flat. There's no security gate here yet, that's obvious. So, just got to go up to the... Um, go up to my flat and make sure it hasn't been ransacked. Uh, have uh, squatters are in there or cockroaches are taken over of, of whatever variety. <laughs> uh, and I'll just check my mail before I go up there. Well, back in Cairns. Saturday morning around 10 o'clock. And of course there's a light breeze. <laughs> What's surprising about that? I probably won't be able to shoot much of this video uh, in this direction as usual. Some things never change and it looks like the uh, the weather pattern is pretty similar. It's quite a warm day. It's a little after 10. And uh, just got to go and head for provisions. Do my uh, my duty for the uh, stocking up on, on liquids and food for Corona. Just in case the old Corona hits hard. So I'll make sure there's plenty of food and the, the larder. Uh, this is something that's been pushed by two people I watch all the time out on a daily basis. Uh, and one of them's called Sticks and Hammer 666. He's an interesting guy, but he's uh, he's got his finger on the pulse when it comes to politics, and he's been saying for a long time now that you can't take the uh, the virus for granted. It, it's probably going to get a lot worse before it gets better. And uh, Tim Pool's the other one. And the, both of these guys have been singing from the same songbook and just saying, look, don't be afraid to to stock up on food and stuff just in case your area gets struck with a number of cases and um, seeing Cairns is a tourist town I guess we're on the firing line a bit we get a lot of people coming in from overseas and uh, you know it could easily happen here so uh, yeah I just got to take that into account I think it's sensible to be prepared for that and have lots of food that you can Keep you going for a couple of weeks if need be if there's a bit of panic buying happening because things do turn worse and it does appear as if it can flash up pretty quickly because uh, places like Italy didn't seem to be a major hotspot have just come out of nowhere and boom so it can it can spread really fast it's an insidious virus because of the uh, it's a uh, symptomatic so you can be without symptoms for looks like four weeks and it's a long time and it may re reoccur that's the other problem it seems as if uh, it could go in phases so you, you think looks as though you're cured you get released from quarantine then you there's a guy on uh, Tim Poole had, had a guy on uh, on YouTube he was talking about how he'd been given the all clear to, uh, through two lots of tests and he's coughing his lungs out on screen I mean, on top of that, he's actually sharing a bottle of water with his daughter. It appears to be his daughter, and he went sitting right next to him. I mean, he's bloody irresponsible. But, um, you know, the, uh, people have got... This is a bit different. Uh, uh, maybe maybe it is a bioweapon. This has got a few of the, um, the traits of possibly being a bioweapon. It's just one of the empty stores in... Uh, this is right near the supermarket. This shows you how bad... Uh, the retail's going in C CBD. Terrible um, customer service at, uh, at Woolworths. There wasn't any, there was only one girl on. She was on the other counter, and we had to look. There's a line of us waiting at the uh, at the checkout. Just and she's, she acted like a total robot. I love the way they don't help you putting your groceries in either. I had a bag and another. Had two bags. Just let me do it all myself. So I just yeah just. Like I say, there's zero customer service these days. It's really pathetic. Uh, yeah, like I say, just very robotic, not good. But at least they don't rip off farmers like Coles do. Coles have um, got donations for dairy farmers and they pocketed the money, the pricks. So I'm, I'm, I'm definitely favouring Woolworths now compared to Coles for my shopping. They can get stuffed Coles and just... That's a uh, very, very low act. And uh, and of course they both underpay their staff, I think. I know Woolworths got caught for that. Maybe that's why the, she acted like a robot. She's totally unmotivated. Oh dear. Anyway, I've got a little bit of my shopping done, but I've got a lot more to do. I think I'll have to go to uh, Central later in the day and get uh, I can go to Coles and pick up some stuff as well. 
So, so I spent 34 bucks there so, at Woolworths, but I'm just, it's going to take a while to replenish my stocks. Uh, I'll come basically back to zero because you're not going to be, uh, you're going to get rid of all your stuff before you go overseas, especially for a long time. So I've got bugger all. So, be good to get home, it's warm. It's, this, uh, I'm glad I avoided summer. Um, again, I don't know if I want to be here this time of year ever. It's, it's just too damn hot. So I'll just have to reassess things. And I mean, I've, my master plan is to possibly just rent the place out. So we'll see, we'll see. It's pretty dead here though, not surprising. Not much activity at all. And it's not going to get any better for months, I'd say. It could get a lot worse. Yeah, pretty quiet here at the moment. Uh, there's a few people in this part of town, but once you leave this block, it's pretty well deserted. I'm convinced that uh, visitor numbers are way down here, just anecdotally. So, I've still been to PJs. I might go there on the weekend, see how I feel. Got things sorted, getting back to my normal routine. Just got to try not get too uh, cemented into the into the rut of life. Uh, I do have to get a few things sorted. I want to do the renovations on the uh, the flat, and so I just want to pull my finger out and get some, get something happening there. I had a look for furniture. Uh, couldn't see much on Gumtree. It seems like it's very quiet at the moment. Even people aren't even selling stuff. So. Um, yeah, I looked up leather couches, for instance, there weren't any listed, not one, which is very strange because there's a, a number of them last time. There were some kitchen tables, or dining tables, I should say, um, but not many again, very few listings, just everything's quiet. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what, what's causing that. You'd think that market would still be going strong, but uh, the supermarket was reasonably busy, but it's near, the, near five o'clock. Uh, and I've pretty well, pretty well finished all my major shopping now and now it's just a matter of topping everything up so it's taken me about four trips to the supermarket to get back to normal and I think I'm pretty well there now but uh, yeah it's quite a breeze coming up here so I couldn't record a thing which is good because it's quite warm I'm quite happy to have a bit of a breeze it takes a bit of the edge off because it is warm this time of year and I felt it was really hot last night trying to sleep really hot and I had my first really strange glitch with um, technically with YouTube actually it wasn't YouTube's fault as much as I'd love to pay out on them it was actually the uh, the Corel video editing I, um, I rendered my latest video yesterday and uh, and I was told by one of my subscribers uh, that the, the sound was was crap I don't normally even bother testing because it, it's not an issue I test it when I'm on my own machine but I don't test it once I've actually uploaded it to uh, to YouTube but it was crap so I tried reloading it onto YouTube a few times deleting it and reloading it that didn't help at all I just had to re-render it through the through the actual program, the Corel program, editing program, and the sound's perfect again because it's actually my best camera. It's the, the Sony camera, and the and the the sound on the Sony is excellent. So um, I had to, I rendered it for the second time and it worked fine. So that was a relief because it's really frustrating when you have technical glitches like that because I hadn't changed anything. I hadn't done anything differently to what I normally. Do. it's a process I follow now and I've made so many videos it's it's like a production line so uh, I couldn't work out what the, what the issue was I assumed that maybe it was a, a YouTube thing I am actually having some YouTube issues with um, having to re uh, load videos I, you, you'll, you'll click on them once and you'll get an error message I'm finding that at the moment I have to, there's two ways around it, either I click again or alternatively I open a new tab and it seems to work but it's a definite technical glitch of some description I haven't encountered before so uh, everything else seems to be working alright on the computer though so it's, it's operating fine now so 
got all the passwords set out. It's, it's I don't quite understand the logic of it because the, the password I used to access my uh, computer, my desktop, is different to the one I changed it to for Microsoft. I thought it'd be the same password, but it's not. And that's weird. And also for um, for getting onto the uh, Hotmail again, it's a different, it's an old password. I don't know why that would be the case because. If I'd changed my settings with Microsoft, you think it would be universal, it would be across all platforms, but no, so I can't work that one out. But anyway, it's working, that's the main thing. Just, uh, yeah, I've been in password hell the last uh, few weeks or so with all the changes having to do with my computers. It's a pain in the backside. I can't stand passwords. Uh, well, I thought we were supposed to come up with um, fingerprint ID and iris ID, but that, none of this stuff seems to have come to fruition. So, yeah, one of these days hopefully it will, because if you could just eliminate passwords, it would save a lot of hassles from many people's lives, I think. Whew, it's been a bloody hot day, I'm waiting for um, the bus. This is actually just after about 11, a bit before that actually, about 10.40. I don't usually get this bus, but uh, we'll see how it goes. But it actually turns up. I uh, just went to the bus show, there's a guy waiting there, and he's just, <laughs> he wanted me to pay for his bus fare, so this field makes me, it reminds me of the bike rider in Sri Lanka, uh, not Sri Lanka, in, um, in Bali. Yeah. It's not pleasant when you can't just book out your door and just not get across it. Although I must admit, this is the first time it's really happened here. Uh, at a bus stop especially. Although I did see a brawl at a bus stop, that wasn't much fun. So, it's colourful life up here. And um, I've got to actually do a video on the crime situation because there's a couple of articles in the, uh, in the local rags about youth um, crime out, just out of control and vigilante groups are being formed here it's getting pretty serious so um, what this is relatively minor there's a lot on my um, my flat didn't get broken into while I was away and I'm very grateful for that but that's just damn luck I think plus the fact it's on the top floor and my neighbors are always in and out so I'm pretty safe in that respect but gee it's um, I don't feel secure here I've had my um, I had a, a push bike uh, nicked and I've also, which wasn't worth that much, but then I had my uh, my trike nick and that was worth a bit more money and that was more inconvenient. It's a good little workhorse, that trike, but because um, there's no security here, I, I, uh, in the flat I got, uh, I got ripped off. I think that's a bus coming, I can't tell. Uh, I guess I saw it. Yeah, it feels warm here though. I think there's a bit of humidity in the air. It's not good. Hopefully a bus will show up soon and get to Murphy's. There's a good deal on the bus, but we've got four cans, four 500 mil cans for 12 bucks if you're um, if you're a member. So they've got some good deals for members with beer. So um, that's pretty reasonable. And it's got a, it's actually a decent uh, alcohol content. It's 4.8. A lot of the beers sold here these days, the local ones, are a lot less than that. I think it'll be close to about 4.2 or something. So. Uh, it's got more of a kick to it as well, so yeah, I'll get some Carlsberg. I might even buy two lots of it. But uh, yeah, 500 mil cans are strange for the aberration in size. We don't get that here in Australia, but it seems to be more of a European thing. Uh, but it is good value. So um, yeah, and there's all, the other advantage of being in cans is it's, it's, it's lighter for me to cart, and uh, bottles are a pain because. Uh, it just adds weight to taking it home. If I had a car, it wouldn't be such an issue, but um, I can't use a trolley because I could use the backpack, so weight becomes an issue for someone like me. Anyway, I don't know how this guy's going to get on the bus. I think he's got a, he claims he doesn't have enough for the, the, the fare, so we'll see if that's true. Oh, what a miracle! My emaciated friend at the, uh, the bus shelter who tried to get three bucks out of me miraculously found the money to, to get a bus ticket. Well, 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 what a surprise. Please uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you think there's anything there of, uh, of use to you or entertainment or whatever. And uh, either give do that or give me a thumbs up or, or if you're feeling really energetic, do both. That'd be great.
Uh, but uh, please don't ignore me. That's the worst thing you can do on YouTube is be ignored.